welcome back. This is a uh, third video series. You know, um, last vi video we discussed uh, variance and standard deviation and how to calculate variance and standard deviation using the HP 10B2 or 10B2 plus um, calculator. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate the coefficient of the variation. And it's fairly simple. The, this is the formula right here for the coefficient of variation. It's the CV, which is coefficient of variation, equals the standard deviation divided by the mean. And then you multiply that by 100% in order to get the coefficient variation. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, we're gonna to go to the data points that we went to before. And there's only two, uh, it's, it's three steps to getting the coefficient variation, which calculated since you already have the data sets already uh, in your memory. The only thing you have to do in this case, if you want to get the standard deviation, you're going to do like we did before. You're going to hit the orange key. You're going to hit the 8 key to get the standard deviation. Then you're going to divide that. Hit divide. And you're going to divide that by the mean. So in the last videos, I showed you how to do the mean. You hit the orange key then the 7 key. And you do... Uh, I think I messed something up here. Let me start over again. So the coefficient variation is to calculate it. It's the standard deviation divided by the mean and multiplied by 100%. So we already know we already have those uh, calculations. So from the last video, so, in order, so we're going to start out with the standard deviation. So you hit the orange key, hit the 8 key, you get the standard deviation. Then you divide that by the mean. So you want to know what the mean is, so go like this. The mean equals, I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't do that on the calculator, I apologize. Um, so I already know what the mean is. So um, it's 39.6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the standard deviation. Divide that by uh, 39.6 equals. Then you times that by 100% times 100 equals so 17.09 but in the book it says 17.10 but it's the it's the same it's the right calculation um if it was to round up to the next to the nearest uh decimal it would be 17.10 so i'm just going to leave it as it is but that's very simple and um I see I see you in the next video